What do you think of yourself? The way you think of yourself is how you have decided, where you have decided to put yourself, where your ranking is. And I want to give you a little hint from the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ, how to be so you can lift your self-esteem. Every one of you has been chosen to be born into this world. Allah is the one who decided and chose you. And He honored you. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We have honored the children of Adam. So you are already special and you are already important. But what you think of yourself makes the world of a difference. And here is a little advice. When you meet people, you put people on a certain pedestal, either up or you put them lower. This is natural. We look at people in different. The majority, the modern person today, bases the esteem of another person and their status on materialistic things. What car they drive, what job they have, what position in the job, how much money they have, whether they're popular or famous or not, whether they look good on the outside, whether they've got more views on social media and likes, all these things. The materialistic superficial things the modern person looks at. A Muslim is taught another way. Your self-esteem is not based on outside appearances or materialistic things. You, when you amplify a person in front of you, you make them big then you automatically reduce yourself. And when you amplify yourself, then you reduce others. And both of them are toxic. Both of them will kill you. One of them is kibir and arrogance, and it will destroy you. And the other one is putting yourself down and not giving yourself the importance it needs. What is the answer? Rasul said, An tunzilu nasa manazilahum. To put everyone in their place, meaning consider them where they belong. And where does everyone belong? What am I? What are you? We are humans. That director of that company is a human. That boss of yours is a human. That husband and wife is a human. Your parents are human. Your children are human. Your friends who've got this or that is a human. The person who's driving that expensive car has a lot of that money is a human. At the end of the day, we're all humans. Number two, we have all been created by Allah for the same purpose. We are all in the same exam. Not too much, not too little. Be balanced.